Hello, good morning, happy Monday. Um, we're gonna get ready super fast because I have to hit the bank before I go to work. Let me just show this to my groups really quick. VIPs and that one. All right, cool. So good morning, happy Monday. Um, we're gonna start getting ready because I'm gonna try to hit the bank before I have to go to work. And I'm like on the fence about wearing an old shirt from work yesterday or, hi Amanda, if I wanted to suck it up and wear a button down, which I really don't want to wear because it's so hot. I'm so hot during this pregnancy. I'm so hot. I'm like sweating every night. It's awful. Ugh. All right. So, hi mama. So we're going to start off with primer. Hi Amy. So we have to get ready have to do lunch shift and I have to do teach my spin class tonight good morning so I overslept for my spin class this morning that I go to I don't take hi uncle Bart I don't teach the class in the morning but I overslept I woke up at like 5 25 and I was like nope went right back to bed applying eye primer so stayed in bed this morning and then I canceled Rex's daycare appointment. I'm just so lazy right now. I just don't want to do anything. <laughs> so, so lazy. All right, we're going to do the color correcting palette just because there's so much red spots going on. I'm telling you, girls suck all the beauty out of you. Like, my skin is breaking out like crazy. So, you're using the Ulta color correcting palette just to get rid of some of this redness. Because it is not my friend. And if you guys could please share this video, that'd be great. Greatly appreciated. I think what's most annoying about all this redness is that it's like, excuse me, is that um, it's all dry. So it's not even like just breakouts and zits it's all just really dry and I'm using like even my nighttime moisturizer half the time to try to clear it up and it just won't clear up Let's see if that'll focus more there we go I don't know why so that'll help it a little bit all right then we're going to use see what's in here. Let's see what's in here. Do we have a new concealer in here? Because that'd be really great. We don't. All right, we're gonna have to use Velour again today. Hi Roxanne. We're gonna have to use Velour again today, which is a little too dark for me. So I'll have to use like lighter foundation, but that's okay. So we're going to use Velour. Just to cover up more of this so it's not green looking when I apply my foundation. Because you don't want that. You don't want that green hue to come through. So when it comes to concealer, some people do concealer first to get their redness, like what I'm doing. And then some people use concealer second for contouring and highlight, or both. Um, and I do both. So I'll usually apply concealer first to get a lot of the redness if I'm having a lot of redness like I am right now. Or I'll do just the foundation and really lay on the concealer for contouring. I'm not sure what I'm doing yet today. I just want to get a good base going first and I'll figure it out. But I'm using the rose water spray to help blend. Hello. There we go. So we have most of it taken care of. Most of it. Not eyelid. That's too yellow. Too scarlet. This is like on its last leg. I just, I put it in a basket for you today, Amy, so when I get to the bank today, I can, um, 
add that into I'll purchase that and I'll let you know how much it is I'm hoping to get it today I'm using scarlet liquid foundation um hoping to get it today so I'll let you know and it should be here by the end of the week hopefully but it is in my basket Amy all right so now we're gonna blend this in I'm gonna use a brush spraying that with rose water And I'm buffing it into my skin in circular motions. Hi, Lauren. Told you guys, I'm going to try to do better at going live every day. So, I was going to do it tonight, but I was like, nope, I got time right now. Let's do it now. I'm just kind of patting it all in. So it's a little more blended. There we go. All right, so now this is where if I wanted to do concealer for contouring, I would do it. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna really concentrate on um, highlighting and a little bit on, and a little bit more on my eyes because this month's kudos is all about the eye look. You get a waterproof liquid eyeliner, you get mascara, brow pencil, and you get a cleansing stick to remove it all. The cleansing stick is amazing, so maybe I'll try to do a video with that tonight, but the cleansing stick works so well, because if you ever have a waterproof mascara that will not go away, the cleansing stick helps get rid of all of that, so you're not like sitting there scrubbing and scrubbing and scrubbing. It's a wax substance, and that helps to work away the product, so you're not irritating your eyes or ruining your lashes. That's a big thing. Because waterproof actually does a little bit of damage to your lashes if you don't remove it properly or if you don't um, utilize it properly. So you can damage your lashes using waterproof if you don't remove it properly. You do have one of those. It's just you take the stick. I don't have a stick down here. Pretend this is the stick. And you just work it in. Use your finger, work it in a little bit more. Take a wet washcloth, and it'll remove all of it. Super easy to use. And actually, when we came out with it, I love it because the waterproof liquid eyeliner is difficult to remove as well. So we're going to use the brow pencil in medium right now. And start filling in. Short little hair like strokes. But I love the cleansing stick because it really does work away all the product and it gets rid of lip stains, which is a huge thing because I love our lip stains. And usually when I wear lip stains, I have to prepare myself like, okay, tomorrow I have to wear a lipstick or something. Because most of the time, the lip stain will stay on until the next day. Actually, maybe I'll use a lip stain today. Maybe. So this is with one brow done. Again, short little hair like strokes to fill in. And I'm not putting too much pressure. Hi, Ma Hi Danielle. Um, I'm not putting too much pressure on because if you put more pressure on, then it's going to look more linear. You want it to look natural, like you're just filling in your brows. You're not doing a big, heavy hand. Hi, Amber. 
You're not doing a big heavy hand. Otherwise you get those really blocky brows. And those are really difficult to pull off. <laughs> And then we're just going to comb through. Kind of feathers out any of the parts where we might have been a little heavy handed. And there we go. We have our brows done. See? Nice and easy. <coughs> All right. So let's see what we want to do for eyes. For eyes. Let's do something neutral. We're gonna do a nice neutral eye. We're gonna use, actually, what's this one? Oh, this took a bubble wrap. Here we go, we'll use this one. So we're gonna use this palette. This is a customizable quad palette. So it's got fervent, manipulative, marvelous, and optimistic in it. It's a really pretty palette. So we're gonna start off with a little bit of marvelous right here. From the outer V, pulling it in, we're going to keep it really neutral looking. So buffing it in. If you apply in short little circles too, this will help keep it natural looking and a natural buff into your eye makeup. So it's not so like here's a stroke of my eye makeup. You want it to look natural. All right, so now that we've done that, we're going to do a little bit of Fervent. So Fervent's a really great color if you have blue eyes. I know it's scary because it's a deep red, but just a little bit of it makes your eyes really pop. Hi, Sierra. I'm just taking this and just kind of finishing blending it out. So that little bit of fervent really makes your eyes pop if you have blue eyes. Then we'll do optimistic. So this nice bright white. We're going to do that under the brow bone. Start adding a highlight. And it'll also soften up the rest of this. go and then we'll add that to the inner corner and to the lid like so add a little bit more on this eye There we go. And then we'll add a little bit of manipulative just to add some shimmer to the outside as well. And blend it all together. There we go. All 
All right, cool. So we have that. Then we're going to do the winged eyeliner. I just got to watch the time. Okay, I got like 20-ish minutes, probably less. All right, so we're going to use Perfect Liquid Eyeliner. So again, this is a waterproof eyeliner. In fact, I've showered, washed my hands and everything, and it's still on my hand from yesterday. So it is a waterproof liquid eyeliner, and it will last you all day. So we're going to use Perfect. So you have one wing, small wing, keeping it small. Because the moment I go big, then it's going to be a problem. a little bit of an up here. All right, just a little bit of an up. So we have two wings. Now remember, your eyes are sisters, not twins. So it may not be a perfect wing, but that's okay. Your eyes are sisters, not twins. They're not meant to look exactly the same. All right, we're gonna do a little eyeliner on the bottom, I think, too, if I can find my brush, if I can find my pencil. If not, then we're not. If I can find my pencil. I need to like clean up my desk so bad. I'm so bad at cleaning my desk. So bad at it. So bad at keeping it clean. I wish I was better at it, but I'm not. Me. I'm sorry. Hi, Alyssa. That's okay. We don't need it. We don't need it. All right, so I'm going to add some powders and then do my lashes and then we're done. So I'm not doing false lashes. I'm just using Epic today. So I'm going to add some powder to this look just to keep it set. So I'm going to use our Touch Behold powder, setting powder. Under my eyes. Along our jawline. Now this is going to set our makeup for the day. So it's not going to sink into creases. It's not going to look like it's running. It's going to set it for the whole day. So we have our setting powder. And then we'll do a little bit of bronzer. Sides of the nose. Boop. Hollows of our cheeks. around our forehead. Draw a line. And 
There we go. So we have some bronzer to add a little bit more shape to our look. Then we'll do a little bit of Moonchild Glow Kit Pink Heart. Just a little. Just a wee little bit. our nose. So a little bit of highlight in the Moonchild palette. And then we'll do our lashes. So we're going to curl them really quick. Cam. Okay, cool. I'm right on time. Yay! I like when I'm on time. And then we'll just do our epic mascara. So the 4D I should be getting in tomorrow. So for those of you who pre-ordered with me, I will ship those out once I have them in my hand, I promise. Big mascara. Hi, Jessica. We're going to do another coat. Good morning. those bottom lashes and we'll do another coat on this one. So yeah, the 4D is expected to arrive tomorrow. Thank God. Once it is here, I will definitely be doing a live on it because I'm so excited about the 4D. That was a huge launch. We sold out in two hours. We sold out in two hours, which is ridiculous. That is awesome. Let's do a lip stain. Hi, Kayla. Let's do a lip stain today. Let's do a red. Let's do Starstruck. I haven't used Starstruck in a while. Starstruck is like a really pretty brick red. This one here. So we're going to do that one. I haven't worn this one in a while. I haven't done any lip stains in a really long time, to be honest. Do I have a prudent close by? Do I have a prudent close by? Mm, probably not. That's okay. I keep stepping on this bubble wrap on the floor. So let's do, I don't want to do pouty because it's got a tint to it. Well, I guess we're just doing straight starstruck. That's okay. This is a starstruck lip stain.
Now here's why I love our lip stains too. These will not transfer or budge either. Let me see if that's dry. So again, so I have a lip stain drawn on the back of my hand. It's not transferring and it's not moving. So this is going to stay on all day. Okay. Let me do a little bit more. So this will not move, this will stay on all day. Now I'm just gonna spray it down. And we are all set. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I always greatly appreciate it. You guys are the bomb for tuning in. Um, I will post a picture in just a little bit. But thank you so much for tuning in and I will talk to you all later. Bye.